Well, police and energy crews are busy picking up the pieces this afternoon. Troopers worked nearly 50 crashes and a dozen disabled cars. So Dominion Energy is trying to get power back on for hundreds of customers. That's right, so 13 News Now reporter Elise Brown shows us some of the accidents across the area and how VDOT is now trying to get the roads safe. A messy Tuesday morning. Car accidents and power outages plagued parts of Hampton Roads. For the most part, the interstates are clear. There are some uh, icy patches. We asked VDOT what their plan was to ensure state roads were safe going into the storm. Spokeswoman Paula Miller says they couldn't pre-treat Sunday due to rain. But early Monday evening, crews constantly adjusted plans as snowfall gained momentum. And we began uh, by calling in all of our crews and uh, knew right away that we'd be working them all night. Employees started to treat state roads, interstates, overpasses, on and off ramps Monday night into Tuesday morning. Over in Suffolk, a spokeswoman tells us since last night, they had more than 180 accidents with 25 injuries. Traffic backed up on both sides of 58. You can see this car flipped on its side. And the driver of this truck tried to escape traffic by going onto the median. Well, that didn't work. The truck got stuck. While drivers dealt with congestion and accidents, people at home faced power outages. It was flakes like big as my fist, and the wind just had it going sideways. The powerful wind and snow broke a cross arm by Joe Key's Portsmouth home. I heard about three booms, and on the fourth boom, everything went black. The work is far from over for Dominion Energy and VDOT. They ask for patience and to be careful while out on the roads. Elise Brown, 13 News Now.